but I believe that we are beyond the place where we need instruments to continue to push us to pray. So I invite musicians and congregation to begin to sing a song of salvation. Begin to sing a song of prayer. But I'm only going to give some instructions. Because God is not finished here. I am aware that in this room there are many people that you have been touched by the Lord. But you have not touched Him. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's one thing for me to touch Brother Bosset. But it's another thing if he would embrace me. The Lord has walked through this room. And his spirit has brushed up against you. You have felt his spirit. It has sent chills up your spine. Brought tears to your eyes. It has brought images to your mind. And there have been things that God has done in your life. That you have almost forgotten about completely. But in the last 30 minutes. Il est important que vous repentissez, tous ces repentis. 
There have been so many people in this room that have repented tonight. Some of you are not even aware that you have done this. You did not know what it was called. But some of you, even through your worship, have repented from your heart. You have said, Lord, I surrender everything. I turn away from my old way. And I embrace your purpose. I embrace your word for my life. I will go where you sit. I will do what you tell me to do. I will dress how you want me to dress. I will talk how you want me to talk. Some of you, as you have worshipped, as you have lifted up. Name of Jesus. Perhaps you did not say those things with your mouth. But you have expressed them from your heart of worship. And the Bible says that when one sinner repents, that there is joy in the presence of the Lord. I have a feeling that more than one sinner has repented. And if heaven is rejoicing, and if the earth is rejoicing, then I say, let's rejoice also. Alors je dis, réjouissons-nous aussi. There is something so exciting. Il y a quelque chose tellement excitant. When somebody repents, quand quelqu'un do not miss the importance of repentance. For it is at repentance that your heart is prepared to approach the Lord. We cannot come into his presence casually. But there is a pattern we must follow. And we must first die to ourselves. If we expect the glory of the Lord to fall, we must first put a sacrifice on the altar. I will tell you what the Lord impressed on my heart a little while ago. That what we are experiencing tonight is not by accident, but by accident. It is completely intentional. Mais c'est complètement intentionnel. It is a result of sacrifice. C'est un résultat de sacrifice. We have talked about it tonight. Nous en parlons ce soir. And maybe you're not even aware of it. Peut-être que vous n'êtes pas au courant. But when the announcement was made, mais quand l'annonce a été faite, that this district gave twenty-three thousand dollars, que ce district a donné vingt-trois mille dollars. Certains d'entre vous le croient et certains croient que le prêtre est parlant de l'argent. Parce que le prédicateur ne parle pas d'argent. Not only to give, but it prepares you to receive. 
But there is something that has just happened in this room. That this district, before it's said and done and everything is counted, will give over $25,000. Somebody has just connected the dots. And they realize the door of blessing is opened by giving. Oh, how many want the district of Quebec to be blessed? Oh, how many want the of the district of Quebec to be blessed? If you have not repented of your sins, if you have not fully surrendered to God, do not leave this building until you have done so. Just come on, you have to stay here all night long. Don't walk out of this place. You are not promised tomorrow. Vous n'êtes pas promis demain. You are not promised one more hour. Vous n'êtes pas promis un heure de plus. And I dare not walk out of this service. Et je ne suis pas assez à l'audace de quitter cette place. With my heart not right to God. J'ai pas l'audace de quitter cette place avec le cœur qui n'est pas correct avec Dieu. I want everyone to bow your heads right now. Alors je demande à tout le monde de pencher leur tête en ce moment. I want you to breathe the name of Jesus. Je veux que vous respirez le nom de Jésus. Somebody say that name right now. Quelqu'un dise ce nom en ce moment. I want to give everybody an opportunity if you haven't already to Je repent. Et la possibilité à tout le monde si vous l'avez pas déjà fait de se repentir. Oh Lord, we surrender to you. Seigneur, on s'abandonne à toi. In just a moment, we are about to see a miracle happen in this room. Dans ce moment, nous allons voir un miracle se produire. In just a moment, people are going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Dans quelques moments, cette personne va être remplie. In just a few minutes, bodies are going to be healed. But we must first surrender. Oh, lift up your voice now. Lord, we surrender every one of us, every one of us. On s'abandonne devant toi, Seigneur. Lord, we surrender every one of us. 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 Et je sais qui est mauvais. For what I have seen with my eyes. Parce que j'ai vu avec mes yeux. That I have should should not have seen. Que je ne devrais pas voir. I'm sorry for what I've said with my mouth. Je suis désolé de ce que j'ai dit. That I should not have left my voice. Je n'aurais pas dû quitter ma bouche. I'm sorry for what I've allowed into my mind. Désolé pour les choses que j'ai permis à mes pensées. I'm sorry for what I've done to others. Pour les choses que j'ai faites. That I should not have done. Pour les choses que j'ai faites. That I should not have done. Que je n'aurais pas dû faire. I'm sorry for the things. Pour les choses que je sais que j'aurais dû faire et que je n'ai pas fait, and I know that you died for my sins. Et je sais que tu es mort pour mon péché. Lord, you gave your life for me. Tu as donné ta vie pour moi. And now I give my life for you. Et maintenant je la donne en retour. I surrender. Je m'abandonne. I will live from this moment forward. Je vivrai pour ce moment de la mort. For the glory of Jesus Christ. Pour la gloire de Jésus Christ. Surrender myself to the Lord Jesus. 
Et je m'abandonne à toi, Seigneur Jésus. If you are thankful for the blood of Jesus, si vous êtes reconnaissant pour le sang de Jésus, you have power to wash away sins. Ton esprit est puissant. Il a mis le péché. Your hands to the Lord. À ceux qui sont dans l'Éternel. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord wants to do a miracle right now in this room. Le Seigneur veut faire des miracles maintenant dans cette place. You are here and you have never received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Si vous êtes ici, vous avez jamais reçu le don du Saint Esprit. You have never spoken words or sounds that you do not understand as God's Spirit gave you the power. Jamais parlé des sons ou des mots que vous connaissez pas dans la puissance du Saint Esprit. Then tonight, before you leave this place, ce soir avant de quitter cette place, I believe that God wants to fill you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Je crois que Dieu veut vous I wonder, church, if you have a little bit more energy to pray for someone who needs to have what you already have. Come on, God didn't give you his spirit so that you can just run, dance, and shout because you have it. He gave you that treasure so that you can see others have afin de voir les autres recevoir un jour. Si vous êtes ici ce soir et avez besoin de guérison, j'ai une bonne nouvelle pour vous. Le guérisseur est ici ce soir et il est complètement capable de guérir votre corps. Ce n'est pas un moment où vous avez fait avec cette situation. Peu importe combien de temps vous avez fait avec cette situation. It does not make any difference if the doctor has said there is no cure. Jesus is the cure for all disease. He is here right now. Hallelujah. I want us to stand together as a congregation. Hallelujah. I want you to pray a simple prayer with me. Je veux que vous priez une prière simple avec moi. And I want you to ask the Lord. Je veux que vous demandiez au Seigneur. To stir the hearts. De brasser les cœurs. Of those who need the Holy Ghost. De ceux qui ont besoin de guérison. And those who need healing. Ceux qui ont besoin de guérison. That they would have faith in God. Qui est la foi en Dieu. And that the Lord can demonstrate His power. Que le Seigneur démontre sa puissance. Pray this prayer with me now. Priez cette prière avec moi en ce moment. Lift up your voice and begin to talk to the Lord. Élevez vos voix et parlez à l'Éternel. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Seigneur, dans le nom de Jésus Christ. We ask you to stir every heart. Nous demandons de brasser tout cœur. And every soul. Tout âme. That still needs to be filled with your spirit. Qui ont toujours besoin d'être remplis de ton esprit. Every body that needs to be healed. Tout cœur qui doit être guéri. May they begin to put their faith in Jesus Christ. Ils doivent mettre leur foi en Jésus Christ. Jesus is walking back and forth through this place. Just like we read about in the Bible. Just like we read about in the Bible. He's here in this room. I want you to turn to your neighbor. Everyone find one person. Everyone find one person. Everyone find one person. 
Nobody alone, nobody alone. Personne tout seul. I want you to ask that person. Je veux vous demander à cette personne. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Avez-vous reçu le Saint Esprit depuis vous croyez? If they answer no. Si ils répondent non, then let them know they can receive the Holy Ghost tonight. Si là qu'ils peuvent recevoir le Saint Esprit ce soir. If they say I do not know about the Holy Ghost. Et si ils disent je connais pas c'est quoi le Saint Esprit. You should explain what has happened to you and how you received the Holy Ghost. Expliquez comment vous avez reçu le Saint Esprit. If they have not received the Holy Ghost. Si ils ont pas reçu le Saint Esprit. And they desire to receive the Spirit of God. Et désirent le recevoir. I want you to ask them if they will come to the front with you. Je veux que vous leur demandiez si ils sont prêts à venir à l'avant avec vous. They do not have to come by themselves. Ils ne doivent pas venir tout seul. But that you will come with them. Mais vous allez venir avec eux. And you will believe that God is going to fill them with the Holy Ghost. Vous allez croire que Dieu va les remplir du Saint Esprit. Even if only one person comes. Même si seulement une personne vient. This is worth it. Ceci vaut la peine. This is a good thing that we're doing. Ceci est une bonne chose. One person is already coming to the Lord ahead of like the praise. And another one is coming. Is there anybody else? I want to pour out his spirit and fill you with the Holy Ghost. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I will give instructions in just a moment. Je vous donne des instructions à un moment. Amen. There's still time. Il y a encore du temps. We want to rejoice. Nous voulons nous réjouir. Is there one more person that will come right now? Y a-t-il une autre personne qui vient? We are going to be happy. Nous allons être heureux et célébrer. Is there one more person? Est-ce qu'il y a une autre personne? I know you're here. Je sais que vous êtes ici. You do not have to be afraid. Vous ne devez pas avoir peur. The perfect love of God casts out all fear. L'amour parfait de Dieu chasse toute crainte. I take authority right now and I command fear to leave this world. Je vais commander maintenant de demander la crainte de fuir. Now to leave this room. So I'm good and I'm trying to fuir. Upon the authority of the word of God. Par l'autorité de sa parole. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to ask that person that you were with. Ask him. Do you need healing in your body or in your mind? Je veux que vous demandiez à cette personne de qui vous êtes. Est-ce besoin de guérison dans ton esprit, dans ta pensée? If they answer yes, si ils disent oui, I want you to tell them I believe that Jesus is able to heal you. Je veux que l'on dise donc tu sais que je crois que Jésus peut vous guérir. Tonight, ce soir, right now, maintenant. Does anyone believe this? Est-ce que quelqu'un le croit? I will give instructions in just a moment. Je vous donne des instructions à un moment. Please be patient. Soyez patient. Has anybody ever heard of thousands of people receiving the Holy Ghost overseas? Has anybody ever heard of hundreds of people being filled with the Holy Ghost in Africa? Has anybody ever heard of hundreds of people being healed overseas? Has anybody ever heard of hundreds of people being healed overseas? God wants to do that here in North America. God wants to do that here in Quebec. He will do that here in Quebec. God wants to do that right here tonight. He will do that here tonight. God wants to do that right here tonight. He will do that right here tonight. I thank my God for what we have seen. Je remercie mon Dieu pour ce que nous avons vu. Sister Mika, where are you? Wave at me. Sister Mika est là-bas. Sister Mika Malari, she was with us in Zambia. La Sister Mika Malari est avec nous à Zambia. Sister Mika, how many did we see receive the Holy Ghost in one week? One, one hundred. And 27 people received the Holy Ghost. 127 personnes ont reçu le Saint-Esprit en une semaine. God wants to do that here. Dieu veut faire ça ici. I'm going to give you very specific instructions. Je vais vous donner des des instructions très spécifiques. Now, sometimes here's how we pray. Parfois voilà comment nous prions. I want to help someone tonight. Je vais aider quelqu'un ce soir. We pray for people. Nous prions pour les gens. And sometimes we pray for them, and we do this number. Et parfois nous prions pour eux, faisons ceci. We pray, we close our eyes, and we start speaking in tongues, and we are just caught up into heaven. Nous prions, fermons nos yeux, parlons en langue, nous sommes pris par le ciel. We don't know what he needs prayer for. On ne sait pas pourquoi qu'il a besoin de prière. We don't know where he is sick. On ne sait pas s'il est malade. He might be crying. But that he pleure. But the reason he's crying. Mais ben la raison pourquoi il pleure. It's because his grandmother's in the hospital. C'est parce que sa grand-mère est à l'hôpital. I'm thinking he's crying because he needs the Holy Ghost. Et je pense qu'il pleure parce qu'il a besoin de Saint Esprit. Maybe he has the Holy Ghost. Et même peut-être qu'il a déjà le Saint Esprit. But I don't know. Mais je ne sais pas. Because I don't talk to him. Parce qu'il ne parle pas avec moi. 
que je lui parle pas. Eyes are closed. Et mes yeux sont fermés. Open your eyes. Ouvrez vos yeux. And speak to the person. Et parlez à la personne. It is one thing to pray with someone. C'est une chose de prier avec quelqu'un. But if you will pray for someone, mais si vous allez prier pour quelqu'un, you must lead the prayer. Vous devez diriger la prière. God wants you to open your eyes. Et Dieu veut que vous ouvrez vos yeux. Because He is going to show you when the right time is. Parce qu'il va vous montrer quand le so bon moment est venu. So lay your hand on them with authority. Pour mettre votre main avec autorité. Please understand me. Si vous voulez, comprenez. Sometimes we lay our hands on people so quickly. Parfois nous mettons et posons les mains si rapidement. And if nothing happens, et rien ne se produit. We take our hand off of them and go pray for somebody else. Nous en prenons notre main, nous en passons à la prochaine personne. And what we don't know, et quand nous ne savons pas, is now we have introduced doubt to them. Maintenant nous avons introduit le doute dans leur vie. They believe that God is going to touch them. Parce qu'ils croient que Dieu va les toucher. And you came and laid your hand on them. Et vous êtes venu et posé les mains sur eux. Et il croit que Dieu va les toucher. Because you didn't feel anything you left. Et parce que vous n'avez rien ressenti, vous êtes parti. Now they feel defeated. Et maintenant ils se sentent vaincus. This man has come forward. Cet homme est venu. He has acknowledged that he needs to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Il a reconnu qu'il a besoin du don du Saint Esprit. And what is going to happen is I'm going to tell this man and this lady here. Et si je veux pas, je demande à cet homme et cette dame ici. That God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost. That it is a gift for you. And that God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost tonight. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift your head. Lift your hands as a sign of surrender. You don't have to lift them very high. Until your arms get so tired. That all you think about. Is my arms are so tired. But you're gonna lift your hands. And you're gonna ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And you will believe that God hears your voice. And that He wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And that as soon as you ask to receive the Holy Ghost, God is gonna open the window of heaven. And He's gonna begin to pour out His Spirit. To you. And I pray for the man. I'm going to give him those instructions. And then I'm going to say, now is the time. Go ahead and lift your hands. And ask the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And I'm watching him. And then as he says it, I say, say it again. Say it with faith in your heart. After you say it, I want you to begin to lift Lift up your voice. Tell the Lord I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I worship you. And as I see with my eyes, the Spirit begins to touch his heart. God is going to speak to my heart. And tell me now is the time. And I will lay my hand on his head. Je vais poser mes mains sur sa tête. I receive it. Il reçoit le Holy Ghost. I say that with faith. Je le dis avec foi. Believing that God is going to fill him with the Holy Ghost. Croyant que Dieu va le remplir du Saint Esprit. I cannot give him the Holy Ghost. Je ne peux pas lui donner moi-même. Only God can fill him with the Holy Ghost. Seulement Dieu peut le remplir. But I take authority over doubt. Mais je prends l'autorité sur le doute. I take authority over fear. L'autorité sur la crainte. And I speak a word of faith. Et je prie avec une parole de foi. Reçois le Saint-Esprit. Et je lui dis, voilà. C'est l'Esprit de Dieu. C'est ce que tu vois sur ton cœur. Je vais te donner ma voix au Seigneur. Je vais te donner ma voix à l'Éternel. 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 Je vais te And when you see that begin to speak sounds that you do not understand, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I
you have the Holy Ghost, we store up the gift of God that's inside you. And worship the Lord. Pray with the language that you do know. Je 
Can we clap our hands to the Lord? As the Lord is the man. But if you were praying for someone that needed healing, I want you to ask them, did you receive a healing in your body? I do not want anybody to speak something that is not true. Do you want to pray for someone that is not true? Do you want to pray for someone that is not true? Do you want to pray for someone that is not true? I want you to say, maybe it's pain. Même si ça m'a senti un peu de guérison, you felt some pain leave. Et vous, peut-être que la douleur, vous avez aussi la douleur à quitter. You still have pain. Et vous avez encore la douleur. Many times we'll stop. Souvent nous allons arrêter. And we'll just have to throw up our hands. Alors nous allons juste baisser nos mains. Oh wow. Alors. No, 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 no. No, you're gonna pray again. Non, on continue à prier. I said you're gonna pray again. On va prier encore. Now God is not here. God is God. Here is here. But you speak to the condition. And you command the condition. And you command the body and the condition. And you are done the call in the condition. To obey the Lord. To be here, my Savior. And by His stripes. And by His mercies, we are healed. We are healed. Have you, if you are able to tell, some of you won't be able to tell until you see a doctor. How many felt healing in their body? Raise your hand. I want you to be very honest right now. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm Je veux que ce prix à craquer la dernière fois. Say pray for me one more time. Et si prie avec moi encore une fois. And we are going to believe together. Ils allons croire ensemble. That if God can heal eleven people, que si Dieu peut guérir onze personnes around me, partout autour de moi, that God can heal me. Dieu peut guérir moi. Right now in this place. Maintenant, c'est mieux. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dans le nom de Jésus Christ. I'm calling the authority of the word. Dans le nom de Jésus Christ. We speak by faith. Nous déclarons par la foi. Say it! 